Welcome back. 647 this morning. It is the first day of hurricane season. So I'm going to show you a few of the early preseason forecasts for what we're expecting as far as the number of storms this year. This is just a sample. There are actually even more, but these are kind of representative of what many of the forecasts are showing. Colorado State University, and they're forecasting 16 named storms. University of Arizona, they do a forecast as well, 19 named storms. The Weather Company, which provides our graphics for us, if you're wondering, it's a private company, 18 named storms. And I want to point out that though there's certainly some variation in these forecasts, there always is, there is consistency in that every preseason forecast is calling for an above normal number of storms, above normal number of overall storms, above normal hurricanes, and above normal amount of major hurricanes. And that's significant because last year, if you'll, if you'll recall, there were 18 named storms, but the number of hurricanes was actually normal. Notice we had six hurricanes, three major hurricanes last year, but notice that for this year, we think there are going to be more hurricanes and more major hurricanes. And if there are more storms than usual, more hurricanes than usual, we can't forecast where they're going to go. But when you have more storms than usual, it's more likely that landfalls will occur. So it does look like it's going to be a busy season. Uh, in fact, we might have something to watch in the Gulf by the weekend and early next week. Just uh, early heads up. But today, we're talking about scattered showers and storms. When's the best chance of rain? I'm going to go noon, 1, 2 o'clock. I think that's when it's most likely. But notice that we're actually relatively dry early this morning. And those rain chances increasing, peaking about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and then slowly coming down. But once we get to the evening hours, looking quite a bit drier, but pretty wet from late morning through the mid-afternoon hours. And there's a pretty good chance at some point, especially if you're driving across the valley, that you'll encounter rain somewhere, and rain will be heavy in spots. Notice, though, that once we get into the evening overnight hours, we're just going to keep a little 10% chance of rain in there for a long time. So the, the nighttime hours looking a lot drier than the daytime hours. Rain will be coming back tomorrow, though. I think it will start to pick up in the late morning hours. The early morning hours tomorrow, there could be a few showers around, but looking relatively dry. I think the better chance of rain tomorrow will be in the early afternoon. And I do think early afternoon is the best chance of seeing rain today. It is going to be a cloudy to mostly cloudy day. There's not going to be much sunshine, and because of that, that is going to hold our temperatures down, especially with rain-cooled air around. I think the average high in the valley, 84 degrees. Not much wind today. In fact, there are no breezy days over the next seven days, so if you don't like those breezy conditions, no signs of that uh, anytime soon. Winds today, just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, tonight, I do want to make clear the humidity is still very high, so though our high temperatures are below normal, our low temperatures where they should be for this time of year, 73, a mostly cloudy night, looking drier than the daytime hours, though about a 20% chance of catching a shower or storm and winds just around 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow looks drier than today, but still a chance a 40 percent chance of shower storms best chance in the early afternoon a little more sun today partly to mostly cloudy and that means a little bit warmer highs around 87 looking ahead to the weekend i know it's just monday but we got to keep rain chances in there it doesn't look very wet it doesn't look like a washout of a weekend at by any means a 20 percent chance on saturday a 30 percent chance of sunday partly cloudy both day and highs in the low 90s will return more news right after the break